This tutorial is about a program called Class Dojo. It's free, it's on the web, it's also an app. It's also about how our Pasco County teachers can utilize it in their classroom. What is Class Dojo? It's a classroom tool that helps teachers improve behavior in their classrooms quickly and easily. It also captures and generates data on behavior that teachers can share with parents and administrators. Better learning behaviors, smoother lessons, and hassle-free data. And again, it's free. The tutorial was provided by iCopilot, and it's free. It's online. So I just put it in the movie for us. Um, I have two daughters that go to Pasco County Schools, and I find their teachers that use this uh, it to be an excellent, wonderful tool. And I hope you get some use out of this tutorial. Thank you. Welcome to iCopilot. We're going to show you how to use Class Dojo for your iPhone. The Class Dojo app is a companion application for their web browser interface. So once we're done looking at the iPhone application, we're going to look at Class Dojo in the web browser. Now if we open up our Class Dojo application, it's going to bring us into our main screen where we can see all of our classes that we currently have on our Class Dojo. Now these classes are going to need to be added from the Class Dojo website and we'll actually show you that in our Mac tutorial for Class Dojo and how you can do all this and customize your classes for Class Dojo. Now this Dojo application for the iPhone is mainly a companion application that's going to allow you to do a few things with your classroom which we're going to show you in this app. Now if we open up our side menu, here you'll see we have our settings where we can go to home, invite others to the application, view our class, even see options, and then log out of this app if we wanted to. Now let's go ahead and go into our options and we'll see what we can do with this app. In our options we can turn our sound effects on or off, and then we can also sort our na by name, first name, tap on there, or last name, and then we can also turn our sound effects on or off by sliding this on or off. We can go home, which is going to bring us to our home screen, which we already saw. We see the account we're logged into on the top where you see Welcome Mr. Horton letting me know that I'm logged in. And then we can also log out of the application. Now what we have to do is um, we're going to go, and go into our class right here. You see we can go there by that side menu or we can go home and enter in any of our classes here. We'll tap on that again. We'll enter our class. Now you see we have all of our students here listed in our classroom and we have all of their avatars and we have a total number of points on each person. If we were to tap on a specific individual, we can award them either positive or negative points. You see we have our positive points for teamwork, helping others, participation, hard work, on task or persistence. And then we have our negative, which is disrespect, no homework, off task or unprepared. Now, we, whenever we tap on someone's name, we can give them either a positive or negative and it will reflect their overall score. So let's just say for this individual, they were participating in class, we're going to give them a participation point. Now, if we were to come into someone else, let's just say we were to come over here into this person, and we didn't think that they were really prepared today, we can give them a negative point unprepared. And this will also, you see it gave them a minus on their total score, giving them from 6 to 5. And we can do this for each person in the classroom. Now, whenever we make any adjustment on here, if we have Class Dojo on our projector overhead hooked up to a little bit of a sound system this sound will also be played on that screen and we'll also see a notification on that screen letting the classroom know that they can look up at the screen and we're seeing what's happening this is giving positive and negative reinforcement to an individual allowing them to be encouraged to do better in class or to keep doing better this is going to be great for helping students with their encouragement and also their self-esteem and anything like that and if we wanted to, we have the buttons down here at the bottom where you see we can award multiple. Let's say we were doing a group activity and these four individuals were working together. We can give them points and then we can give them a positive or negative, being that they were in a group and that they give them a teamwork one. We could even select all, which will select the whole classroom and we can give everyone a point. And then we can do a random one which you see it's going to randomize, it's going to show us here on the screen who we've selected, but up on our projector it's going to show a little randomized thing scrolling through a few different names, and then once it lands on that name we'll be able to give them a positive reinforcement. And This is going to allow us just to walk around the classroom, randomly pick someone, and then we can look at them and see what they are doing, and if we feel at that moment they're in a positive or negative reinforcement, we can go ahead and take actions accordingly. Now let's take a look at Class Dojo in the web browser.
Now right here we have Clash Dojo opened up in our web browser and we're currently logged into our account. You see up here in the top right hand corner we have our account name. If we were to click on that we can change our profile settings and we can also log out. Let's go ahead and click on our profile settings and show you what we can do in here first. We have our photo here where we can change our photo. You see we can choose from pre-built in avatars or we can upload a photo right here from our computer. We can take a photo using our eyesight camera or a webcam. We can choose a link or we can even choose web images say from Facebook or even Twitter or anything like that. We also come back out here. We can change our basic information such as our title for a, a male. We would choose Mr. or Dr. or Professor or if, a, or if we were a female we could choose Mrs. Miss Miss or even Dr. or Professor as well. We also have our first name and last name where we enter in here. Now if we're a part of a specific school, we're going to want to add our school. We can click on here, which will initiate a search for our school. We can type in our school name and then add that into our profile as well. Now coming back into here, we can also choose our login details such as our email. We can change our password and then we have our language preference down here. Down in the bottom right hand corner we also have ideas and help where we can send ideas and help to Class Dojo to let them know maybe some feedback or if we like to maybe give them an idea to add a new feature we can do that from here. Now we're going to go back and we have our main menu where we currently have our class that we have set up. Now if you followed our along with our iPhone tutorial you'll be familiar with this class as it has all of our students in there where we're going to be able to send them um, positive and negative reinforcement and encouragement and here we'll also be able to send parent reports and view our activity. Up here in the top menu we have our latest activity and we have our parent reports and then we have our school and again our login and log out. If we tap on latest activity it's going to give us everything that we've done with Class Dojo. You see that today we have everything that we've done with our iPhone today for the classroom if we scroll through we even have what we've done on a previous day we can even load more which is going to give us all of the information that we've done and we can keep loading more to scroll through and you see that what we're, go what we're doing we have the student's name we have the icon for the encouragement we gave them and we also see what they did hard work in which classroom they have we have multiple classes we can even remove activity by clicking remove over here on the right hand side of the screen and we also see by the remove we see what time these indications were given. Now we'll go back up to the top of the screen. Let's go back and we'll go ahead and go into our classroom before we get into parent reports because you're going to want to see what's in our class before you understand what a report is. Now if we want to we'll go ahead and hit start which is going to bring us into our classroom. Now typically what you would want to do with this screen here is to project this through your projector and possibly hook it up to some sound system because what you were going to do with this is you'll understand why we're going to give them reinforcement where the students will be able to see this and that's going to help them understand and what's going on with the classroom and they can also see other friends and we can see them and get a reinforcement that way as well now we can go through we can reset our running points right now you see on each student we have a green circle and a red circle the green is positive and the red is negative now we have a few settings on this screen as well if we click on our settings here we can change students and behaviors we can edit students and behaviors here. We can change their student names, change their avatars if we wanted to. If we click on one, you see we can edit their name. We can even remove the student if they move classes or anything like that. And we can save and close this menu once we've changed the names. We'll go back into the settings and we can change even our avatar size to reflect the size of the screen that we're currently using. Go ahead and set it right there. We can show running totals. We have separate totals right now which show the red and the green circles. If we did a combine, it's just going to show the combined number, letting it, just giving us an overall total. So you see for ones here, right here, this person, Dwight, you see they have a six positive and one negative. If we were to do a combined total, it would just show a total of five positive, being that they do have the negative. We can show award notifications for positive and negative. Play award sounds for both positive and negative as well sort the students by first name or last name and then we can display students with a show all overall positives and overall negatives. We'll go ahead and save these settings and come out of this menu. We can take attendance with this as well. Go ahead and hit attendance and we can mark them here with a green. They're maybe away on a, on a visit or out of classroom on a bathroom break or anything like that would be a yellow and then absent would be a red. We can mark all absent, we can mark all present, or we can go through and go ahead and click each individual one if we needed to make that adjustments. 
We can do a, a random as we did with the iPhone. We'll go ahead and select a random student. You see it gives us the pop-up down here. It stops on the student and we can award them hard work for positives or we can give them negatives depending upon what we feel that student needs. If we didn't want to do this or we made that mistake by by an error, we can go ahead and hit this close that box and it doesn't give anybody any points. We can also award multiple students at one time by clicking here. And all I have to do is click on their box. You see it highlights them in a dark gray. And now we can give these students an award and we can select from positive or negative here as well. We can also, again, like I mentioned earlier, reset the running points, and we can also end this class. Now, if we were to click on one individual, it just gives us this pop-up menu where we can view hard work, negatives, and positives here again as well. Now, if we're using the iPhone Companion app, without even clicking anything on the screen, maybe we're walking through our classroom and we wanted to award somebody, we could click on their name. Let's just go ahead and do this right now. We'll tap on somebody. We're going to go ahead and give them a positive for doing a per persistence. We'll tap on that. You see it gives us a pop-up on the screen. It also plays a sound so the whole class can hear that and then we can give our friends a high five or cheer them on for doing good work. We can also do the randomizer which will hit random on our iPhone and you see it brings up the same random menu and it's going to stop on one person and then we'll be able to give them a positive or negative from our phone. Let's just say at this moment that this person was not doing their task. They were off task. We're going to tap that. You see it gives them a minus one for off task and then it gives us a little sound so maybe they can work a little bit harder next time. This is going to encourage them to always be remaining on task in class so that way if we were to do this randomizer we would be able to give them a positive point. Now coming back into our settings if we wanted to edit the students again we'll come into the basic info you see we can change our class icon we can click through depending upon the type of class we're teaching we might want a different icon for that. We can even change the year that our school is doing. We have you see preschool all the way up to 12th grade. We can even do other if we wanted to. And then we can even name our class. We have our students again where we can choose their avatars here. We can just drag an avatar, say that we wanted to change Stanley's avatar into this panda bear looking one. We just drag and click and come over it and you see it changes the avatar to that person. We can choose different categories. We have monsters and critters. And we could even choose the avatars for them, or we can even let our students choose their own avatar. We could just drag it over there for them, and then we can even add our own set if we wanted to and upload our own images for avatars. We can add a student just by typing in their full name here, then pressing enter, and it'll bring them down here into where we can choose the avatars. In our behaviors, we can see all of our positive behaviors and negative behaviors. If we have another class, we can also import those behaviors from another class. And then we can even add our own. You see we have a few different icons that we can change from. And then we can even name it. Now that we're done with this, we'll go ahead and save and close. And say that our class has ended for the day, we'll go ahead and end the class. And now we want to give our students reports. Right now we're seeing the range just for today. It's going to go ahead and calculate the total of everyone's points. We'll scroll through, and if we were to click on someone, you see that they're get, we're seeing their total positive points earned and negative points earned. We can download this report and email it to our parents. And if we scroll down, we can see what they're actually receiving reinforcement for. This person has 100% positive reinforcement, but right now we're seeing that most of their reinforcement is coming from hard work and being on task. We're seeing that we're also giving them points for helping others and participation in teamwork, which we can use this to maybe encourage them to do other fields that we have our encouragement for and even let their parents see what they are doing. We can send reports to parents by clicking here. You see it gives us our whole classroom. and We can enter in the parent's email address and then we can send them their reports here. Before we can do that though, we're going to need to print parent codes which it's going to send us this download. We're going to download a PDF and we'll print that off and send it home with our students so their parents can get a code so whenever they come to classdojo.com they're going to be able to enter that code in and see all the reports there as well and enter in their information here. We can also select different classes over here on the left hand side of the menu. You see currently we only have the one so that's all we're going to see but if we had multiple classrooms we would see that here. Now let's go ahead and go back a step and we'll come back and we can change the range from today, this week, last week, this month, last month or at all time and we can even choose a custom date range. Coming back into our main class dojo 
account. We can even view parent reports here quickly without even having to go into our classroom. We also have archive classes, which is classes that maybe have finished for the year. We want to go ahead and archive that just so we have that on hand if any of our parents need information from there. We can also create a new class by clicking create a class up here, which you see it gives us the same menu we noticed earlier where we can select the year that this class is going to be for. We can choose the image and then we can even give our class a name. Thanks for following along with Class Dojo. If you'd like to learn more tutorials, be sure and check out more iPhone and iPad and Mac tutorials over at icopilot.net.